Hey, what's good everybody? Welcome to another video. Today what we're going to do is we're going to look at the legends that came out because we got some bangers and I'm going to give you an overview of the team. We're kind of in a weird spot, right? I really don't know what to do. We have way more players than we actually need. I mean, we're, 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 we have more players than we need at running back, more players than we need on the line. So I'm going to have to do a bunch of selling. We've spent a lot of coins trying a bunch of different players out. So let's hop into the video. First off, we're going to go look at the LTDs. So it is later in the afternoon. I'm uh, Pacific time, so it's 4 o'clock right now. These players came out quite a while ago. But let's take a look and see where they are as far as pricing goes. So the market is in a very odd place right now. So it seems like some of the cards are just going down. Uh, certain cards are still holding their value. But we're going to see what we do because we have some pretty high cards that I want to sell off. And then I want to figure out how we're going to go forward with our team. So first off, let's go to this Justin Smith. So what's weird about this card is this there's not that many 96s up the majority of all the cards that i've seen throughout the day have been the ltds so let's look at this card uh we're gonna see where he lands now they juice this card up now if you played at the beginning of the season at the beginning of the season this card was a monster but man they gave him 90 speed 91 acceleration 95 strength he's always been a, a you know really strong you know cowboy right big strong boy so 97 tackle 98 block shed 97 power move uh this card is pretty good especially on the theme team you can look at easily 94 speed either running off the edge or playing him at the tackle so that's our first ltd now let's go to uh who did work done play for who did he play for? Here, I'm just going to search up his name. That way we make it easier. I know he played, obviously, for the Bucks. Uh, he also played for, um, I want to say, the Falcons. So here, it looks like they have him as a Falcon. So he's actually going for, the, he's the cheaper of the two. 91 speed halfback. Now, I mean, 90, um, sorry, not 91 speed. Um, 95 speed halfback. He's going for roughly, what was it, 450? It looks like, but 95 speed. He looks like a lot of the other uh, running backs we already have. Now, the only problem that I have with this, this is the Scream Steam team to me. Because he's a 95 right now. You put Sprinter and Brawler on him, you can easily get him up to a 97. Now, change of direction is very good, 98. Archetype is elusive back, 94 carrying, 97 agility. All those stats are good. But here's where you have a problem. So he's 5'9", 187 pounds. He's a smaller back. Now, I have Barry Sanders, and Barry is good. But I can tell you that Barry does feel smaller. Now, he hasn't really fumbled, but I don't know if that'll be an issue with this card. Now, he has 97 break tackle, which is really good. But then he has 61 trucking. So my question to you is, why would you choose this back over, let's say, a Kamara? let's say uh over arian foster even um it's hard to say now if you have a theme team that makes you know that makes for a good argument but again i i don't see him being necessarily a game changer now i'm not saying he won't play well because this card played extremely good now when we look at the market overall uh 96s are going for about 240 and if you look at one of the things that I gauge is the program prices, right? So if we look at team of the year, team of the year prices came down a little bit. Um, 250 ish, the higher cards, you can look closer to 300. So um, yeah, 279. So the market is in, a, is, in a, is in a weird place. Let's take a look at the 95s real quick. And then we'll jump over to our squad. And then I'll show you the team update because we did pick up some players. So 95s, uh, 133, wow. Or no, those are 94s, but 95s, let's see what our first 95. 180K, so they came down about 20% 20 per, 20 give or take. So anyways, we are going to add, actually we already added, we'll show you the squad. We added Justin Smith already. So here's our top three, it looks a lot different. Um, but let me show you the squad and what we're working with. 
So we sold Philip Rivers and we went back to Rich Gannon, okay? Uh, chemistry wise, we're working on some other chems 50 of 50 play fake, 50 of 50 lockdown, uh, 50 of 50 Niners, and then we do have 25 zone run and 25 run stuff. So I'll show you what we did as far as run stuff goes. Um, I'm sorry, zone run. You see, we put on our backup linemen, and then we have it on all our running backs. So this is what allows you to get Barry up to a 99 overall. Barry looks great. Um, you know, 99 speed. Now, the card that we did add is this um, Raheem Mostert. So we added Mostert. Now, I'm conflicted because we also have Alvin Kamara fully powered up. But with adding this card and being able to put... Uh, backfield mismatch on him. I think that he could technically replace Kamara. I do know that Kamara is going to be better as an elusive back, but I do fully expect Reggie Bush to get a card. And when Reggie Bush comes in, he's easily going to supplant Kamara. So look at this card though 99 speed, 99 excel, very good. Change of direction 94, trucking 81, 95 break tackle. Uh, he's looking pretty good. 5'10, 195 pounds. So he's not small. But he looks good. So we, we, we added uh, Raheem Mostert as far as the offense goes. Then we added Stefan Diggs. This card, I don't know if I'm going to keep. I will tell you, he plays very well. Now, the whole reason why we got him was we put Playmaker on him. Now, it does cost 4 AP, kind of expensive. But he's 97 speed, 99 short route running, medium route running, 96 deep. Uh, 99 catching agility is decent so the card plays good does he play better than ty hilton that goes up to a 98 nat not really uh does he play better than you know metcalf not really jerry rice is pretty similar card uh it's just that jerry is one speed faster so he's a good card i don't know if we're gonna keep him we did add Corey lindsley quentin nelson and Trent Williams, and then we did add Darren Waller. So this card here, bro, this card, um, I'm tempted to go back 25 Niners, 25 Raiders. We still have a lot of the pieces. So uh, 95 speed on this card at 6'6", six, six, he's a goon, bro. So I, I will say that you can, you can feel the difference in speed on this card. Now, let's go to defense because I'm getting excited as far as how the defense is playing. So we did add Jamal Adams. Uh, he, he looks he looks good, man. Um, what can I say? Jamal Adams is probably the best, you know, safety in the game right now. 97 speed, 99 man, 99 zone, 98 power. Card looks good, bro. So then this is what we did. So this is this is where, where, where we come into some, like, I'm conflicted, right? So I sold Legereus Sneed. The reason I did that was because I was playing Sneed and Peters at free and strong safety. But then this card came into the game. Sneed, I want to say we sold him for like 1.3. I kind of missed out on that window because he was going for like 1.5. But it is what it is. We added this card. Take a look at this card. 98 speed, 97 excel, 98 man, 99 zone. Bro, this is a free safety. It's not even a corner. 89 power, pretty good. So we we have him at the number one spot. And then we have Lamar, uh, uh, Marcus Williams at the number two spot. Now, I run uh, Je uh, um, Justin Reed at free safety now. He essentially takes that spot where Sneed was playing. And then I bring uh, Marcus Williams into the box. So Marcus Williams, when I run 3-3-5, three, three, um, when I run nickel 3-3-5, then we have three linebackers. You have Simmons in the middle. You have Williams at left outside linebacker backer, and Jamal Adams at right outside linebacker with Justin Reed at free safety. And then we have uh, Peters at strong safety and then Rod Woodson in the slot. You could put Rod Woodson at strong safety, but because he has a big hitter trait, I bring him down towards the line. So now um, Mays doesn't really play, and neither does um, Ronnie Lott. Only when I'm playing against a heavy runner do I bring in Mays because he has 80 block shed. So this card is pretty good, man. At 6'1", you know, pretty good. So that, that's our situation there. If you notice, we don't have Sherman because I put him on the block. 
That card is a good card. The problem I have is he's not 2.2 million coins better. I feel like Rod Woodson is just as good. Okay, so um, that's what we have there. We brought Marcus Peters at three, but this is the card I want to show you here. This card looks it looks filthy, bro. Let's check him out. 94 speed on Justin Smith. 95 acceleration. 99 block shed with 97 power move. I mean, they, they look, I'm going to be honest with you. They juice this card up because he never has that much speed. Um, but we're going to play him at D tackle. That's what we're going to do. So we do have a lot of pieces to sell. As you can see, our coin uh, it, it, our stack is low. But, I mean, I got Cameron Hayward to sell. I got the team of the year punter to sell. We're going to sell Stephon Diggs. We got to sell uh, uh, a bunch of players, right? We're going to we're gonna probably sell um, Kamara. <laughs> you hear that in the back? Hey, duty calls. But, anyways, this is what the squad looks like. Um, let me know what your squad looks like. Tell me what you think I should do. Uh, we're gonna sell Kamara. We're gonna sell Sherman. We're gonna sell the punter. We're gonna sell Cameron Hayward who I like I had Cameron Hayward because he goes to 199 blocks But now we got Justin Smith here with Lawrence Taylor and Bosa And depending on who I play, I'll bring Ahmad Brooks in at 95 speed to spy So anyways, those are your limiteds. This is our squad 50 of 50 Niners Let me know if I should go 25 Raiders 25 Niners Thank y'all for rocking with me. Do me a favor. Please like and subscribe the video. I'll be putting more stuff out. These are just my thoughts on what I'm doing. Let me know. All right, y'all. Till next time. E2 times. Peace. We're out.